Hi, um, my name is Madison. I just wanted to talk about my experience with chronic pain, chronic illness, and now being diagnosed with lupus and a rare back condition called OCI. Um, so I've kind of struggled my entire life. I've always been that kid that was injured or, but I always tried to play through it because people always told me like if if it's not broken, if you're not gushing blood, you're fine. My grandma actually used to always say to me that if I was a horse, they would take me out back. So like I always just had this, there's something wrong with me. There's no reason that I'm the one that's always injured, that I'm the one that's always in pain. Like it's just, I knew that something was going on, but I didn't, I didn't know anything about lupus. So how would I have ever even thought to bring that up to my doctor? Um, I thought lupus was some terminal disease that you had to be in the hospital for and your lungs were like, I had no idea what lupus was and I'm kind of here to just open your eyes that this is lupus. Um, I had a very active childhood. Um, a lot of the times I was exhausted or fighting through some sort of injury that I thought was an injury but never ended up actually being an injury um but I played very competitive sports growing up and in the last seven years I have gotten so much worse that I started needing to go to the doctors I was I was wondering what the heck was going on with my body at first um they thought I had slipped discs in my back they thought I had like pinched nerves they thought all of the things. We tried everything. I did physio, I did um, massage, I did chiropractor, I did acupuncture, I did osteopathy, I tried athletic therapy. I feel like that's everything. Um, <laughs> I did it all. I did it pregnant, I did it after pregnancy. It was wild. Um, I never, I never got better. Not, no, no matter what I did, I just, my body was just feeling broken, like my back and my one leg. I just couldn't do anything about it. I eventually, um, they set me up with an MRI. My first MRI of my back and hip, they just told me everything was fine. So that was kind of frustrating because, not that you want to be told, you know, there's some, something really wrong with you, but when you're having this internal fight every single day that you're in so much pain and then someone does the test and goes, there's nothing there. It's, it, it can destroy you in a way. Um, you definitely don't want to look for a bad answer, but you just kind of want something to go off of. Um, I never saw the results of that MRI. Um, I didn't know to ask. So I ended up seeing a sports medicine doctor. He suggested it was just muscular. I cried in his office and was contemplating doing really bad things because I felt like I was at the very, very end. I ended up having to go to the hospital because my mental health was bad. Um, they obviously calmed me down, um, set me up with more physio, um, some mental health, um, support. I had appointments and a doctor to see me for medicine and but nothing was helping my leg like my my body my my body pain um it was getting to the point like if I go out in the sun I'm so exhausted if it rains or the temperature changes my body is destroyed like it's it's unreal um I struggled daily it's just some days are way worse than others and I've learned a lot of um coping skills through going through um different therapies a lot of them train towards chronic pain because this might be my life and not the you know it could be worse but it could be and it might be so enjoy what I have right now because I truly do believe one day I'll be in a wheelchair and I used to play the most active sports so it just blows my mind. Um, but yeah, I ended up
<clears throat> none of my therapies worked. I started getting way worse. In September of 2020, my mom actually drove down to my house and took me to the hospital because I was at my end again. I was, I couldn't believe it. I had so much pain. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe without just wanting to die. Like it was, it was so bad. Um, so they set me up with some, of course I can't be on anything intense because I take care of two kids every day. So they set me up with gabapentin, T3s, and then to see my doctor. So I felt hopeful. Every time I see a doctor, I felt hopeful, which is mind blowing because I just always got told it was muscular. So they eventually did another MRI and um, when I got the results back, it was normal. And I was like, it can't be. Like, I just, I don't believe this anymore. So I actually, um, my mom asked to me to ask them to see it. And so I'm reading it and there's this one spot from, so this part has nothing to do with lupus. Um, there's this one spot on the MRI that says, um, sclerosis of the iliac joint, which is um, consistent with osteis, osteitis condensed in ili, which is that really rare condition. But then at the bottom of the report, it says normal. So I'm like, that has to be something. So I look it up for a bit and it's so rare. There's barely anything about it. So I drop it. I'm like, whatever. They said it was normal. I even asked the doctor about it. The doctor was like, no, that's fine. The radiologist said it was normal. It's normal. Um, very defeating. I thought I finally had an answer or at least some answer. They decided to send me to rheumatology because they started to think that there must be an underlying, underlying condition. And this is when I got blood work back that my ANA was positive and my ratios were up, out, whatever. They were bad. I, I don't know how to say that. Um, so I was talking to the rheumatologist and he was like, yeah, we're on the track for that. And then that finding on your MRI. And I was like, what finding on my MRI? And he was like, OCI. And I was like, what about that? And he was like, well, that's a huge finding. That's a huge discovery in your back. So he explained it to me. It's, um, basically like I, I see a lot of discrepancies sorry, discrepancies because it's so rare. I joined Facebook groups um, to try and talk to other people about it. But it's basically like the points that are um, affected on an MRI, it looks like shaded. And so it's either like deposits of extra bone or something is depositing inside the bone. It's a very confusing description. But basically there's either extra bone or there's something wrong with the bone and mine's at my iliac and my SI joints. So I'm just messed up. Um, when I joined these Facebook groups to hopefully like get some answers, every single commenter is always just like, yeah, nothing helps. Good luck with this. We're all kind of in it together. It is so depressing. I, I had to mute the group, but I'm still in it because I want to be in it in case I have any questions, but like I asked a question one time, like just introducing myself to the group and you know, just what um, what helps anyone and everyone said nothing, <laughs> nothing. They haven't found anything. I don't know if that even means like harder meds. Like I don't, I don't know if that would even, I, I don't know, I don't know. So we're all in excruciating pain together. So it's lovely. Um, but yes, yeah, so when I got my, saw the rheumatologist, he wanted to redo my blood work because he just wanted to make sure, I don't know if you can get false positives or maybe sometimes it's reactive, but then other times it's fine. I don't know. So he had me do my blood work again. And then he also had me test for HLA B27. Um, so I ended up calling the doctor's office and my blood work results were in. Nobody had called me obviously. And, um, they, my ratios had doubled. So, I mean, I'm either getting worse or it was just more positive, but like, it's there. My, it's there. It's there. Um, but I haven't heard back about the HLA 
B27. That was like a long test and I don't exactly know what that is all about. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just want to really open up the doors for what lupus looks like, what back conditions, how to fight for yourself. Um, this has been a seven year long battle of me and doctors. There's some doctors that um, I could never face ever again because I just bawled my eyes out and I'm so embarrassed and it just was a horrible experience and I'm sure they've seen worse, but like, oh, I hate myself in those moments, but I've had some horrible, horrible times and doctors often don't like to be told um, that you're also searching and that you, you know, want to see the results and they can get offended. And I just feel like we're working together I understand that, I don't know, I understand that some people come up with crazy ideas and stuff like that, but the most part, you gotta trust your patients and know that they just want quality of life back. Like, what I wouldn't give to be playing ringette again and being able to go for a walk without pain, be able to sit with it, like, just anything. And, um, yeah, I miss out on healthy pregnant like I had a really hard pregnancy both pregnancies like yeah life has been life has been tough and I haven't known why for a really long time and I just want to share and just let everyone know that lupus might not be what you thought it was um and to ask your doctor open those doors like it's a blood test or it's not just a blood test obviously but I just don't know why they couldn't have started this only seven years ago, even if they did think it was muscular, but there was no finding on the, I don't know. Like it's just the amount of money and time that I've wasted on therapies that did nothing but actually hurt me because in the end I'm actually hyper flexible. So my newest therapy is pelvic floor therapy and she cannot believe that I've been told, I've never been given strengthening exercises yet because I never get better. They give me stretching exercises and I never get better. But I've been diagnosed as hyperflexible. And so she's like, why would they ever give you stretching exercises if you're hyperflexible? So she asked one of the physiotherapists and they both, both agreed that's the craziest thing that you should, like that no. And so like when I stretch, like I just don't have, like I'm one of the people that can like touch my, you know, like I'm one of those people. I just don't have limitations to my joints. Um, so I've just been mistreated and I had no idea. Fight for yourself. Talk to me. I'll give you ideas. Let's do this together. I'm seven years in this battle and I just want to help. I promise. I'm just... I'm here for you. Let's do this. <laughs>